Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and today in this video we are going to do a quick trade report. So it's been couple of days since we did the last trade report. Monday we had put an open interest video and yesterday there was no video which was put up. So today in this video we are going to understand what exactly happened to the markets today. And we are also going to understand what is the trade setup for tomorrow which is an expiry day and also what we can expect from the markets tomorrow. And finally, we are going to discuss what positions we hold, how we plan to manage it in case if it breaks our break even. So today, as soon as the market opened, uh, there was a big sell off, especially in the IT stocks. So surprisingly, Bank Nifty was holding because Kotak Bank did really well and even HDFC Bank didn't really see any sell off. So banking stocks were holding, but there was a huge sell off in IT stocks because even yesterday Nasdaq was also uh, pretty down. So it almost fell around 2% and later bounced back. And Later during the day, the market took support at 17,200. So it never really broke 17,200. Then we saw some good buying coming in. And while we thought that, okay, so towards the end, there is some strong buying coming in and the market is finding support and we might actually consolidate around 17,300. So by two o'clock, even I was expecting that uh, there is some support at lower level and market will end up consolidating at 17,300. So exactly at that time, we saw some very quick and aggressive selling, most probably again by FIIs itself. So market fell from 17,300 right away to 17,200 just in the matter of 30 minutes. So similarly, we saw with Bank Nifty also in the last 30 minutes, Bank Nifty corrected close to 200 to 250 points. So now uh, this was the entire day and end of the day, we closed almost at the day's low right over here. And when we look at the top gainers as well as uh, top losers. So here uh, we saw that today almost uh, 36 stocks out of 50 stocks declined, uh, whereas only 14 stocks gained and there was individual stock names. So there was uh, no sectoral performance as such. Uh, auto did relatively do well compared to other sector. So on the broader perspective, IT as well as finance was down. So banking did well, but uh, you can see Bajaj Finance as well as Bajaj Spencer, both were down close to 3%. Overall, we didn't get to see any sort of a sectoral performance, uh, but relatively two wheeler stocks and auto stocks did slightly well compared to other sectors. And uh, the market sentiment was also quite weak towards the end. And we'll also uh, quickly look at the FII as well as GII data. So again here, uh, you can see that today, 15 December, the net sell figure from FII's is close to 3000 crores and DII's only purchased close to 1500 crores. And they have been continuously selling right from December 1st. Actually, if you take in the past 60, 70 days, there has hardly been around five to 10 days where they have purchased rest all other days they have aggressively sold. And from December, there has not been a single day where they have purchased and totally they have sold around 23,000 crores already. So DIS did purchase, but not enough to make the market move higher, right? So now uh, this is the market movement. What we saw today. What is more crucial for us to understand is what we can expect for tomorrow, which is an expiry day. We are going to analyze both the charts as well as open interest to get a better understanding of what is the expected range of the market. And in case the market range is breached, what we can expect from there on. So now coming to what we can expect tomorrow. Now we'll start with the charts and later move on to open interest. And this is for Nifty. So we have seen that uh, Nifty today also took support at uh, 17,200. When we actually zoom out a bit and look at the same thing uh, with a longer time frame, we again see that uh, 17,200 does act as a pretty strong support for Nifty. And we should see if Nifty will be able to hold 17,200 or not. So in case if Nifty is able to hold 17,200, then uh, we can expect a bounce back towards 17,300. And again, on the higher side, 17,400 will turn out to be a pretty strong resistance. So again, this is a very important level to look out for. In case if we are able to hold 17,200, then we can expect a bounce back towards 17,300. And in case if we break this, then we can expect a move towards 17,000. 
100. So this is going to be a make or break level for Nifty. So similarly, when we come to Bank Nifty, uh, again, right over here, uh, we can expect 36,700 uh, to be a strong support for tomorrow. That is around this level. And uh, 37,000 will definitely act as an initial resistance. Uh, but more than that uh, would be 37,200. So the expected range for Bank Nifty would be 36,700 to 37,200 as per the charts. Uh, but the thing is, uh, it is already close to 36,700. So again, this level will act as a very important point. It is again important for us to see if Bank Nifty can hold 36,700 or if it breaks 36,700. If it breaks 36,700, then we can again expect a move towards 36,500. So 36,500 should act as a pretty good support for tomorrow if we break 36,700. So what it really depends on is the global queues. So let us assume that tomorrow there is a gap up. Then we will immediately see some put writing at lower levels like 17,200 for Nifty and uh, 36,700 for Bank Nifty. If there is a gap up, we'll quickly see put writing at these levels. But in case if there is a gap down and it breaks in the beginning itself, then we will see some good short straddles being created at these levels. So these two are pretty good indications and we have to see whether market opens gap up and sustains 36,700 and 17,200. And if market opens gap down, will it be able to cross 17,200 and find support there? So that becomes very important for us to look forward to. And now coming to open interest. So again, uh, here uh, we saw there was a 3.4 million change in call and 1.4 million change in put. Uh, no much activity interday, but there was some strong call writing at 37,000. Apart from that, no much of activity interday. And when we look at the overall OI also, so definitely there are more number of calls compared to puts. So this reason being, we will definitely find some strong resistances at higher level. But uh, we can see here, there is still some significant short straddles which are created at 37,000. And there is also a support coming in at 36,500. So for this reason being, I am expecting a range of 36,500 towards 37,200 in case market fails to hold 36,700. So it's very important for us to see. So this is the range I am expecting as of now. But uh, if it opens well below 36,700, then we will see a lot of closing down of 37,000 puts, strong call writing at 37,000. When we come towards Nifty, there was no much of interday OI activity, right? Uh, so we did see some strong call writing at um, 17,300, put unwinding as well. And this was mainly towards the end when the market started to fall. So what this did to the overall OI, is uh, it has added some strong resistance at 17,300. Whereas we do find some support coming in at 17,200. So that's the reason I told uh, 17,200 becomes very important. If we see the market opening lower or below 17,200, then we will see a lot of short straddles being created at 17,200. Again, you can see the ratio. Calls are way more than puts and uh, any more call writing will make the ratio overextended and we can expect support coming in soon at lower levels. So considering both of this, again, I'm expecting a range of 17,100 to 17,400, but it really depends on where the market opens. If the market is opening higher towards 17,260 or 270, then we can expect the range to be around 17,200 to 17,000. 400. So it really depends on the sentiment of the global market and how the global queues are and how exactly we are going to open tomorrow. It is going to be a pretty exciting expiry and uh, let's see how it goes. Now coming to the positions, uh, so there are a lot of positions here. Yesterday we made a profit of around 1 lakh and today we lost around 82,000 and Monday also we made a profit of close to 1 lakh. So all in all put together from past 3 days we are positive of 1 lakh. So there are a lot of positions of current week, next week, as well as month end. Uh, but to summarize, uh, we mainly hold, uh, let me just come to the strategy builder. So the main positions of uh, what we hold is a 17,300 short straddle. Uh, so you can see where the break events come and I have hedged it with 
200 points away. So this is uh, one of the main positions which we hold. As you can see, uh, these are the break events. Tomorrow the idea is going to be pretty simple. The moment we break 17,200 and trade below that for quite some time. Uh, so we are going to short some 17,200 calls aggressively. And if we see any sort of bounce back, then that is going to be pretty good for us. So that is the idea to manage Nifty tomorrow. And coming to Bank Nifty, again here uh, we hold mainly short straddles at 37,000 hedged with 500 points. So I'll just add those two quickly. So this is the main position and uh, you can see the break events as well. Again, uh, this 17,700 is going to act as a crucial level. And if it is sustained and if we see any sort of bounce back towards 37,000, then it is going to be uh, really good for us. So it is really important to see how exactly the market moves and what it holds for us tomorrow. If there's a huge gap up or gap down, again, then we are going to go to a loss and we have to manage it from there. Uh, but expecting that uh, there is no big gap up or gap down and if the market bounces back, we must see some really good theta decay happening. The idea for this also remains the same. If we break 36,700, uh, we are going to create short straddles at 36,700 and later see how do we manage it from there on, right? Uh, so this is the idea. And uh, with this, uh, we also come to the end of this video. And uh, I hope you guys have liked this short video. If yes, then please do hit the like button, share this video as well as subscribe to Optionables. See you guys tomorrow.